Hey guys, welcome back. It is day four. Um, if you haven't watched the previous days, um, go head back to our channel and check out days one through three of our gear reviews. Um, we're working our way through our favorite gear that we had on the PCT. Um, today we are talking about this Nightcore headlamp. Um, it's the Nightcore 2500. Um, and there are a lot of things that I really like about this headlamp. Um, before we left for the PCT, we had bought um, headlamps from REI that were battery powered and they weighed I think six or seven ounces each um, and while going through and trimming some things down we decided to swap to these guys um, I think they only weigh two or three ounces when you take off the band which we did um, it has two or three different brightness settings for a white light it also has a red light which is really helpful um, when you're sharing camp with other people and you don't want to be annoying and blind people. Um, it also has a way to lock the headlamp. Um, so if you press both buttons on the top at the same time and hold it for about three seconds, you'll see a red light that flashes here. And that means that you have to press and hold both buttons in order to turn it back on. So you can't accidentally turn it on while it's in your pack. If it bumps something, um, you're not gonna lose your charge. Um, Another thing I really like about it is that it is rechargeable. Um, it just plugs in right here. Um, and it has the same, it's the same cord, it takes the same cord as the Garmin InReach. Um, so if you also have one of those, just use the same cord for it. Um, and we made our own um, kind of straps by using shock cord here. Um, we got I don't remember what size it was, but it's smaller than the smallest size that they offer at REI. So you can't purchase the shock cord at REI. Um, you can buy it online, like through Amazon on bulk, um, but we actually got ours in Idlewild because we couldn't get it before we left on the trail. Um, so we went without having a strap um, through to Idlewild and having the strap really made all the difference because obviously your hands free and can use your light without holding it in your mouth and dropping it and all sorts of things. So I really recommend this guy. Um, if you have any questions about it, feel free to drop us a comment below. Um, check out the links as always, and we'll see you tomorrow.